today on the Weddy Dive mission. I'm coming to you from a long way away from New Zealand. I'm in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And it's about 7.30 in the morning. We're just sort of getting a bit of gear ready. Um, we're going to chase yellowfin today. And uh, probably wahoo and mahi mahi and things like that. But it's, uh, it's uh, unknown to us. I've done this through a friend of mine out of America who knows this place well and runs guided spearfishing trips here. We're staying in what looks like paradise to me. This is like a hot bath, and as I say, it's 7.30 in the morning, and apparently the sea's just as warm. So uh, I'm looking forward to this one. I, I've always loved shooting yellowfin tuna. They're a, they're a real challenge, and obviously in our part of the world, there's very few left. We don't see those big meatballs we used to see off Wakatani anymore. So the population of yellowfin up here off Puerto Vallarta is still pretty good. Um, I'm not too sure about the commercial fishing here, whether they fish them or not still, but I'll look into that a bit later on. So, guns are ready, dive gear's ready, we're going to have breakfast and we're going to head out. So we're off on our dive, <laughs> and it's the first time I've ever gone diving in a golf cart. <laughs> but the place we're living at, this is our mode of transport, so uh, we've got our guide out in front of us on a push bike. We hope the boats are better than these golf carts and a push bike for where we've got to go because uh... oh. <laughs> apparently it's 40 odd miles where we're heading. So anytime we're looking for, uh, for spots you always want to find something different. And this point of land in, uh, in Mexico is one of the most significant changes in, um, in the shoreline. So off of here, that same thing continues out and there's another pinnacle and another rock that's out there. We're going to go hit those. As well, we've got this time of year, big open ocean tuna schools. So we're going to go and, um, and chum in front of those and try to bring the fish up behind the boat. But it should be fantastic. We have sailfish, marlin, wahoo, pargos, which are the cuberas and um, pretty much anything can happen today. We'll probably see mahi as well. So looking forward to it, man. I think you guys will do real good.
So the weather's turned on us. Um, we're talking about a hurricane out off the coast here, so we've had to come inshore. So we're going to work some of these rocks here. Um, it gets fished fairly heavily, this area, so we'll have a good look around. But uh, the water's certainly nice and clear by the looks of it. There's a lot of bait fish on the surface behind us. So we'll go and give it a go and see if we can't turn our luck, our bad luck, into good luck. I dove down and waited above the rock where it was and this swam out of the hole head first and I shot it right through the top of the head there so I thought it would kill it but I'm actually lucky I got my spear back and went straight back into the cave of course. Now my old mate John here is with us. <laughs> How old are you now John? Oh, 72 and a half. 72 and a half and he's out doing it with young 21 year olds and some of us middle ages. <laughs> but he's got the fish of the trip so far in size with his um, big trev. Do you want to hold that up, John? Jeez. So, what were you, 73? Oh, 72. He's still alive. At 72, John's out doing this sort of thing. And some of you other old fellas that are watching this and the rest home, this is what you should be doing. <laughs> yeah. Out killing these things. <laughs> big fish like this. I'll get out of your way, John. You hold it up for the camera. Now, this one they call, here they call it a toro, which is the same thing as a bull. So, I think you got the better of him today, though. Usually they fight like really hard, and the first thing all of us asked John when we got in the boat is like, did it fight really hard? He's like, nah. No, it didn't. He got in the heart. I hope I can get fish that size at John, <laughs> if I make John safe. <laughs> I think that's right.